Okay, guys. Hello. Good day. Good morning. I am Lauren Cunningham Hammond. I am one of the trainers here in National General Accident and Health. Now, I appreciate you spending part of your busy, busy day with me. Um, hello, Steve. So we're going to get started on, we have two products that we're going to be going over. So with the two products, I'm going to focus on certain plans um, just so we can get through everything. So first and foremost, we're gonna go through the NatGen Access Plan. So we're gonna go over that fixed benefit indemnity plan, also known as the NatGen Access. We're gonna go over some plan options, how it's gonna work, plan details, and as well as the Hospital Expense Protection Plus Plan. Now guys, this is our redesigned Hospital Expense Protection Plus Plan. This plan will be um, effective, earliest case scenario you can write is going to be the 25th of September. So let's go ahead and get this going. So why a fixed benefit indemnity plan? Well, unfortunately, 64% of Americans avoid or delay treatment due to medical costs. And unfortunately, a lot of people don't have the money in pocket to pay for those expenses. So guys, this is going to bridge those gaps or fill those holes, whether you have an employer group, um, an individual with, I'm sorry, an employer group, because we all see the trends, the out-of-pocket expenses are getting higher and higher, and the coverages is, are getting smaller and smaller. So unfortunately, 44% of Americans do not visit a doctor when sick or if they're injured because they don't know the true cost of going to the emergency room or in urgent care. 41% of Americans have problems with medical bills or debts due to healthcare costs. Guys, these are scary, scary statistics and they're only increasing in percentages as the years are going on. So, the fixed benefit indemnity plan is an affordable way for your client to get those healthcare costs, excuse me, the healthcare that they're going to need. Now, remember, this is not going to be replacing an Affordable Care Act plan, any major medical plan. This is a fixed benefit indemnity plan. This is going to help cover those anticipated costs for everyday healthcare services it's going to pay a set dollar amount for certain covered healthcare services. Now, please note your client could potentially pay anything in excess of the plan benefit. So say for example, um, an insured goes in for a colonoscopy. Let's say the average colonoscopy, um, well, I know here in Oregon, the average cost is $2,500. So if the plan is only covering say example, $2,100, the difference your insured would be um, going to be paying for. So again, keep that in mind and make sure that your insureds understand that. So the next gen access, again, is a fixed benefit indemnity plan that is going to offer clients affordable and predictable access to healthcare. Clients can go to any doctor or hospital and receive, again, that set benefit amount. No deductible, no coinsurance. Now you can write the, this particular plan incongruent with any of our other plans. Benefits for both preventative and unplanned visits, labs, x-rays, surgeon costs, plus a lot more. Now there's no waiting period for injury or sickness benefit. Now please note there is a 90 day waiting period for those preventative services. So again, that colonoscopy, if it is deemed preventative. Now the NatGen access, who's this good for? Well, the access is a great option for clients that cannot afford those major medical plans. People that wanna cover those costs of the other plans that are not covering. So again, if they have a major med and the major med is not going to be paying for selective services that we're gonna to touch base on, then again, this is going to cover that hole for them. People that need help paying for those healthcare expenses, again, great option. Now, please note the access is not suitable for people that utilize a lot of medical services or need an Affordable Care Act plan. So 
guys, pre-existing conditions are not going to be a covered benefit on the net gen access. But you know what? Don't worry. Because we still have a guaranteed issue available for your insureds with extensive health histories, those pre-existing conditions, it's not as robust as our other plan offers, but you still have that option. People that want comprehensive medical coverage, again, guys, this is not a major med. This is going to be a fixed benefit indemnity plan. People that have serious um, illnesses, injuries, chronic conditions, like someone that say is diabetic, that is utilizing a lot of doctor services. But again, remember pre-existing conditions, not a covered benefit. If you have an insured that is eligible for the Affordable Care Act plan subsidy, again, this may not necessarily be the right plan for them. So we're gonna talk about some benefits as well as the network. Now guys, we have now six plan offerings. You'll notice that we have the value, the fundamental, the fundamental plus, the enhanced, the enhanced plus, as well as the guaranteed issue. Now the guaranteed issue, again, as I noted before, it's not as robust, but it's still a great offering for those that have pre-existing conditions. Because again, pre-existing conditions, not a covered benefit. Now for the sake of time, I'm gonna kind of focus on the um, Enhanced Plus, which is our new plan, as well as the Fundamental Plus, again, new plan. Guys, we've built the uh, two new plans based on feedback from you, the agents. So you have more offerings for your insureds. So in the event you have an insured that is inpatient hospitalization, well, if they are admitted into the hospital, they will receive a $1,000 payment for that admission, three admissions per plan year. Intensive care sickness, $3,000 payment for up to 60 days, again, per plan year. Intensive care. Now this is for injury. Your insured would receive $5,000 per uh, day, up to 60 days, again, per plan year. Guys, it's a great benefit for that insured, say, unfortunately slipped, fell off a ladder, um, you know, cleaning the gutters. You know, that's a big thing right now for some of us in parts of the world. Um, cleaning the gutters, getting ready for the fall and the winter. Well, you know, if my insured slipped, fell, it's considered injury. Again, $5,000 payment for up to 60 days per plan year. In the event that there is the healthcare practitioner visits you, it is a $75 payment up to 10 visits again per plan year. So guys, let's say you have an insured that was admitted into the hospital, spent uh, three days in the intensive care for said injury. So $5,000 a day times three, 15,000 plus that thousand dollars for the admission. Again, it's just adding up for your insured. Now, again, hospitalization for those inpatients, let's say they have that daily confinement for sickness. Now, please note from year one, two, and three, the benefit is increasing. So again, the enhanced plus is what we're gonna focus on. For year one, $3,000 a day, unlimited. Year two, $3,750, again, per day, unlimited. And then year three, $4,500 a day, again, unlimited. But please note, on the guaranteed issue, there is a maximum of 90 days per plan year. The daily confinement, again, for that injury we talked about, you'll see, again, year one, two, and three, it's an increasing benefit. I like to present it as a loyalty. So for your insureds that keep the plans longer, up to year three, again, it's an increasing benefit. So for year one, $6,000, 7,500 for year two and on, year three and on, $9,000. And again, guys, unlimited days for that plan year maximum. But again, you'll notice that the guaranteed issue does have a maximum of 90 days. <clears throat> Surgery, say the event you're insured, um, unfortunately, had to have surgery when they slipped and fell and broke, broke something like that hip. So a hip surgery is considered a tier one. 
So tier one surgery is like hip amputation, excluding, you know, hands, fingers, um, carotid artery, um, in the event your insured has brain surgeries, let's say they have that, um, heart valve repair or replacement, those are considered tier one. So to me, those are a much more dangerous surgical procedure. So it has to be specific per the contract for the tier one. So let's say that your insured goes in and has a surgery. Well, they're going to receive an additional payment of $10,000. Again, unlimited per plan year. Surgeon on tier two, $5,000, again, unlimited per plan year, and that surgeon for the outpatient. So in the event it is an outpatient procedure, again, $5,000 payment for surgeries per plan year. Now, please note, tier two surgeries are covered inpatient surgeries that are not included in the tier one surgeries. Now, let's say you have a situation where an individual goes in for multiple surgeries at the same time, we are going to consider that one operation and this, the benefit for surgery is going to be considered based on the procedure of the highest benefit amount. Again, with surgery, if there is an assistant surgeon for that tier one level, you are going to, the insured would receive a $5,000 payment for four surgeries every plan year. Again, assistant surgery, tier two, $2,500 payment for surgeries, again, per plan year. The outpatient, yeah, guys, it's, it's covered there as well, $2,500 payment to your insured for four surgeries. Now, anesthesia, I would hope and pray that if someone has to go in for a tier one surgery, that they would have an anesthesia. They would have an anesthesiologist there. Well, when that anesthesiologist pays and does their due, well, your insured is going to receive a payment of $2,500 for surgeries per plan year. If it again falls under the tier two, it's $1,000 payment to your insured for surgeries again per plan year. The anesthesiologist in an outpatient procedure, again, your insured would receive a $1,000 payment for surgeries per plan year. Outpatient surgical facilities, again, a $750 payment to your insured for up to four surgeries per plan year. Now, Outpatient benefit, let's get a little more detail. So in the event there is that outpatient procedure and they have to go to an office visit for said outpatient procedure, under the Enhanced Plus, you'll notice that they're going to receive $150 payment, but you'll notice that it's increasing from year one, two, and three. So seven visits year one, eight visits year two, year three, nine visits. Preventative office visits, again, your insured would receive $150 payment for two visits per plan year. Let's say your insured ends up in the urgent care. Yeah, guys, they're going to receive $100 payment, again, eight visits per year. Now, guys, remember, this is also based on state and availability. Let's say that your insured has to go in for testing services or even observation. Now guys, remember earlier I talked about if they were admitted into the hospital. Unfortunately, not all persons are admitted. They might be set up for observation. Like my stepson was messing around with a bunch of guys and fell, bonked his head. They didn't think he was severe enough to be admitted into the hospital. So in his particular case for his concussion, they just had him there for observation. So again, this is a benefit for your insureds if they have to go to the observation unit. But you'll see radiology, $300 payment to your insured, five tests per calendar year. Laboratory, $50 payment, 10 tests. Again, maximum benefit per day is $50. And then 10 is the maximum per plan year. Now observation, you'll notice 
It's only available on the two newer plans. So the Enhanced Plus, in the event there is the observation, they're not admitted into the hospital. $1,500 for two days. So if something happened and your insured had to be in observation, say in February of the year, well, they would receive that $1,500. But let's say again in November, if something happened and they had to, <clears throat> again, be in observation, that's two plan days per year, per plan year, excuse me, two days per plan year, $1,500 payment for each. Now, let's say you're insured again is in the emergency room in the event they need to utilize ground ambulance well yeah guys fifteen hundred dollars for one trip per plan year in the event they have air ambulance medevac unfortunately is a great example of an air ambulance your insured would receive a payment of two thousand five hundred dollars one trip per year now in the event they had to go to the emergency room well under the Enhanced Plus, they would receive a $500 payment for up to three trips per plan year. So again, remember guys, it's all, it's all going to add up. So remember that $1,000 admission plus the $5,000 a day for the three. Remember that example I gave you earlier? Well, because they had to go to the emergency room, they're gonna receive a $500 payment on top of that $1,000 admission and then 5,000 per day for that sickness that I talked about earlier. Now, transitional care and prescriptions are going to be a covered benefit, but please note the transitional care, you know, nursing home is only covered in the enhanced. So your insured would receive a $100 payment for 50 days. If it's home health care, $100 payment, again, for 50 days per plan year. Hospice care, $100 payment, <clears throat> excuse me, up to 50 days per plan year. Now, outpatient prescription drugs. Yes, guys, we have that benefit, but the key is here, outpatient prescriptions. So when they're let out of the hospital, if your insured has the Enhanced Plus plan, they would receive a $10 reimbursement, and I'll get into more detail about that, up to 50 refills per calendar year. And again, depending on the plan, it could be a covered benefit or not. Now, we would encourage our insureds to stick to the First Health Network. Now, please note, they can go any doctor, any place at any time, but I would encourage my insureds to go to the First Health Network. The benefits of the First Health Network is there's over 5,100 hospitals, over 110 ancillary facilities, over 690,000 professional providers. Approximately 96% of the US population has access to the First Health Network within a 20 mile radius. Now, the benefits of having them stick to the First Health Network, well, they're gonna get discounts. Discounts ranging anywhere from 30 to 50% for that in-network care. Now, remember, your insured is still potentially responsible if they're an overage. So again, we're gonna try to encourage them to go to the First Health Network for that discount. So we're going to talk about how the plan is going to work, some additional coverage, as well as the Life Association. So how the plan is going to work. So before treatment, prior to receiving treatment for the access member should go to our website and look for the First Health website, excuse me, I just totally mucked that up. So they're going to go to the website and search our network providers. I'm gonna show you further where you can find that information. So go to the www.firsthealth.bp.com, schedule an appointment with a provider within the First Health Network, Present the ID card when checking into the appointment. Now, if your insured has group insurance, if they have a short-term medical plan, make sure that they present all of their cards. So their group plan, their short-term medical plan, in addition to this access. Because again, we're going to pay based on what the information that we get from the EOB. So 
pretty much after treatment, the explanation of benefit is going to be sent out to the member. It's going to show their network discounts that apply for the plan that is paid. So again, by the First Health Network, members are responsible for paying any remaining balance after the plan benefits are paid. Members receive the same plan benefits regardless of where they receive care and how much the provider charges. But again, we're going to encourage our insureds to go to that first <coughs> health because that 30 to 50% discount. So how the plan is gonna work for prescription. So when they're filling in, they're gonna have to fill in a claim form. So I will show you and give you more detail as to where you will find that. They need to complete the claim form, which again, I'm gonna show you on our website. They're going to submit that claim form completed, as well as a photocopy of the prescription receipt showing the drug name, the quantity, the prescription drug, the cost. Do you know that white piece of paper that gives all the information, drug interactions, so on and so forth, that you get with any and all of your prescriptions? That's the piece of paper that they need not the long ticker tape um, receipt that you get from the cash register, okay? So I just wanna make that very clear. So let's talk about Stacy here. Well, Stacy was out walking her dog and she fell and unfortunately she dislocated her shoulder. Well, that was okay because she had the NatGen Access fundamental plan. So she went to the ER visit and she had a shoulder x-ray. So the cost was $1,035. So because she was in the network, she received a discount of $309, or excuse me, $390. The ER benefit, remember she's receiving a certain benefit. So that was $250. And then an x-ray benefit, again, $250. This is just an example. So her out-of-pocket costs, that she was responsible for it was $145. So life association guys, well, depending on the state, it is a built-in or it is, um, <clears throat> excuse me, something that you're insured can add to any of the net done policies. So we have telemed for life. Some people call it teledoc. Well, either way, it's going to give you insured the ability to connect with a physician 24 hours a day, seven days a week, whether it's video chat or phone calls. Now, the beautiful thing is it's unlimited and it's not costing your insured any extra monies. Um, I have a telemed for life and I also have a UHC. They have it. They call it Teladoc. Well, every time I use Teladoc, it's a $50 copay. So of course, I'm going with my life association stuff where I have no additional fees, right? Penny saved is a penny earned. You also are going to receive hospital and diagnostic facility negotiated services, discounts on direct labs, lifeline screening services, financial empowerment, active and fit. So your insured can choose anywhere between 9,000 different fitness centers for as low as $25 a month. If you're like me, don't really want to go out, you can do a workout at home in the comfort without going to the, to the gym. There's over 2,500 different videos to choose from. You're also going to receive um, other discount and services like all state identity protection, auto discount, entertainment tickets, so on and so forth. So let's talk about the eligibility, state availability, some limitations and exclusions, and we're going to touch on the payment and enrollment stuff here in a little bit. So the primary applicant must be between the ages of 18 to 64 at the time of applications. Yes, guys, we can add a dependent child to that application up to age 26. It is renewable the month the client turns 65 requires clients to fill out health questionnaires. And unfortunately, we do not offer a child-only application on the NetGen Access plan. Now, these are the current states in which this policy is available. So 
So let's talk about limitations and exclusions. Now, this is just a generic limitations and exclusions, but I will show you where you can find the more detailed limitations and exclusions on any of our products here shortly. So pre-existing conditions, dental procedures, elective or cosmetic services, weight loss, chronic pain, pregnancy or maternity, workers' compensation, hazardous activities, you know, bungee cord jumping, alligator wrestling, hang gliding, stuff like that, hazardous activities, mental disabilities or chemical abuse, whether that is alcohol rehab, whether that is um, drug rehab, again, not a covered benefit. Now, if you guys have any questions, please hit me up in the chat. And I apologize for not mentioning that earlier. So I'm just going to give us a minute here and then we'll go on to our uh, redesigned hospital expense protection plus plan. Hello, Lisa. Good to see you. Grace, good to see you. Okay, guys, I'm not seeing any questions, so let's just continue on. So again, the Hospital Expense Protection Plus, this is our redesigned program. Now, the beautiful thing about this is it goes live on the 25th of September, so in a couple days. So if you were to go into your quoting engine and try to look up this particular plan, unfortunately, you're only going to be able to see the older and we'll get into more details about why the hospital expense protection, plan options, plan details. Now, resources, this is where I like to spend a little more time for you, the agent. I think it's a great touch base for your insured. So why a hospital expense protection plan? Well, in America, the average cost of a hospital state is $11,700. So an out-of-pocket expense rose more than 70% over the last 10 years um, for Americans with employer-based insurance. Approximately 61% of Americans say that they would be unable to pay for a $1,000 unplanned expense. Guys, this is a scary statistics and it's just that that expense is getting higher and higher as we're seeing. So with the National General Hospital Expense Protection Plus, it is a new limited benefit hospital indemnity plan to help clients plan and save on their healthcare costs. We have six benefit options designed to meet your client specific needs. So we have three base plans that are going to help offset those costs of the unexpected hospital stays. Three max plans that are going to provide benefits for those hospital stays, along with the benefits for more common needs, like you know office visits, as well as urgent care visits. Now guys, remember, you can sell this plan on top of any of our other, I beg your pardon. I'm sorry, guys. My dogs were just barking. I apologize. I apologize. I apologize. So the hospital expense protection plus is going to, again, provide a set cash benefit for covered services. So members, again, just like the NatGen access, are going to be paid directly and on top of any other policies, coverages that they may have. So again, you can sell this in addition to the NatGen access plan. Client is going to have to pay for any charges in an access of the plan benefits, just like we touched on with the access. We have multiple plan designs available. Now, again, it depends on state, guys. It in, um, plans are going to include benefits for intensive care, daily confinement, office visits, labs, as well as x rays. Now, guys, no deductible or co pays no waiting period or network restrictions. So let's talk about the benefit, how the plan is gonna work. We'll touch on the life association. So in the event you're insured has to go for outpatient radiology or laboratory. So let's say on the office visit, you'll notice that plan D, E, and F, they have a $75 payment coming to them, two visits, 
per plan year maximum. In the event they go to um, the urgent care facilities, again, it is going to be covered benefit under plan D, E, and F at, or excuse me, D and E, $75 payment to your insured to visit again per plan year. Observation units. So remember how I talked about earlier, if your insured is only in the observation, well, not all of the plans out there are going to pay them for observation only. It's typically when they are admitted. But if you'll notice it on the plan E, they're going to receive a $750 payment for a one-time visit within the plan year. Radiology, they're going to receive a $50 payment. Again, two tests per plan year. Laboratory, again, under the plan E, $50, two tests per plan year. Now, emergency. In the event your insured has to utilize a ground ambulance, all of the plans are going to pay a $250 payment, one trip per plan year. Air ambulance, this one blew my mind, guys. $25,000 payment to your insured for one trip, again, per calendar year, or excuse me, plan year, $25,000. Oh my gosh, it's a lot of money, right? I have a really dear friend of mine who unfortunately had to have a life flight uh, for an accident that he had. He went a total of four and a half miles until uh, they got him to the nearest uh, trauma facility. And um, that four and a half miles, his, um, his bill was $22,000. So yes, $25,000 is the payment for your insured for that one trip per plan year. Emergency room, you'll see that only plan F has a $250 payment for your insured for four visits per plan year. So let's talk about how the plan works here. So Brandon was admitted into the hospital for pneumonia. Uh, he stayed in the hospital for three days. Brandon has a uh, primary medical plan with a $5,000 out-of-pocket limit, and he has the HEP plus plan two. So his medical cost was $11,700. The primary plan out-of-pocket maximum was $5,000. So his HEP hospital admission benefit paid $3,000. And then because remember he was in the hospital for the three days, he also received a pay, there was also a payment for $450. So his total out-of-pocket was $1,550. Now remember guys, this is a paid benefit to your insured. Now what he does with said check that's up to him. If he wants to pay his medical bills, we would hope he would. But in the event, you know, he does what he does with the monies that he receives. So Lindsay here, unfortunately noticed an abnormal lump in her arm. So she went to her in-network doctor. He checked it out. He prescribed a mammogram with corresponding blood tests. So Lindsay had the short-term medical plan with the HEP plus um, plan five. So medical cost was $573 and one penny. The short-term plan network um, discount was $249.74. The HEP office visit benefit paid was $75. The HEP x-ray benefit paid $50. And the HEP benefit paid $50. So her total out of pocket was $148.27. So guys, you know that we have a large variety in our portfolio of products that you can sell for your insureds. We have a plan enhancer. We're going to be launching the plan enhancer with a vanishing deductible. So more to come on that. We also have the Triomed, the Cancer Heart and Stroke standalone, or it can be combined as a writer in the plan enhancer. We have term life, whether it's attached to the critical illness or term life standalone policy. We have the AccuMed, which is an accident medical expense and an accidental death and dismemberment policy. Select dental or our dental indemnity plans. We have quite a few offerings in dental. Now, we've kind of touched on the life association. 
So let's talk about the eligibility, state availability, limitations and exclusions, as well as the enrollment and the payment information. So for this HEP product, we can write it for any individuals from ages 18 to 64 at the time of application. We can add a dependent up to age 26 on the parent's policy. Unfortunately, we do not offer a child only policy. Now guys, this is going to require a health history questionnaire. Now remember, if your insured has an extensive, unfortunately, pre-existing conditions, it's not gonna be a covered benefit, guys. So current states in which this policy is available, Limitations and exclusions. Now, this is just a generic limitations and exclusions. So we have pre-existing conditions, dental procedures, elective and cosmetic surgeries, prescriptions, and medications. Um, we have pregnancy, workers' compensation, hazardous activities, mental disabilities, and chemical abuse. Now, again, I'm going to show you where you can find more detail limitations and exclusions per product. So the enrollment and the payments, well, we can write a policy any day from the 1st through the 31st of the month. Now you can issue a policy as soon as tomorrow if need be. The initial premium payment is going to be withdrawn either at the time of application, but it must be before the effective date of the policy. Reoccurring payments are going to be five days before the monthly anniversary. So going forward, let's say um, Lisa wrote me a policy effective the 22nd. So going forward, my monthly anniversary would be the 18th of the month going forward. Forms of acceptable payment are EFT. So that checking or savings account, Visa, MasterCard, Discover. Now, resources. This is the area that I really like to touch on for you, the agents. I think this is a great resource for you to touch base with your insured. Now, if you go to our NatGen Health page, so again, natgenhealth.com, this is what our page looks like, bright, shiny, right? Now, if you click on the agent and broker tab up here at the corner, you'll see, it's nice and highlighted, we have agent tools and information. So this is where you're going to be able to support your business with online tools. Now, let's say you need a refresher course on this HEP product. Again, remember it's coming out on the 25th of September. If you go into your quoting engine and try to look it up today, you're gonna to get the old plan. The old plan only had three offerings. So. Let's say you need a short-term medical refresher. Well, if you click on the agent and information tab, it will take you to our YouTube page. If you look at the marketing materials, this is the area that I prefer to spend a little more time on. By clicking on the marketing materials, this is where you're going to find our plan brochures. So if you need more detailed information, like those limitations and exclusions, that's where you're going to find it in the plan brochures. It's based on product, based on state. Remember guys, not all states are equal. We all, we have several different states with several different rules. So please be sure to keep checking back on that area. Flyers and trifolds. So if you're an agent that likes to um, email all your correspondence to your insured, you can download our trifold, input your agency's information and actually email it to your insured, or you can print it out if you like to sit across the dining room table with someone. Any and all of the products that you were presenting to your insured, again, in the trifold, you can download it to a PDF. It'll go into a PDF form. You can input your agency information print it out, present it with all of your other information. I think it looks very lovely and very, very professional. Now let's say like those claims where I said you had to do the reimbursement for the prescriptions, for example. Remember it was $15 for 50 prescriptions on the NatGen Access for the outpatient prescription reimbursements. Well, how do you get that claim file, Ren? Well, not a problem. If you go to the existing customers tab, you'll see submit a claim. This is where your insured will, again, download a PDF, 
input the information along with a copy of that prescription documentation and they'll email it. Now, if you yourself want to use this as a touch basis with your insured, highly recommend it, highly recommend it. Let's say your insured needs to find that first health uh, network, where's the closest facility near me? Well, again, if they click on the existing customers, you're going to see the fine doctors and network facilities within your plan. If that is the case, then you're insured. Uh, may I have a copy of the webinars, PPT? Yes, Grace, um, at the end, I will be giving you my email address, the email address that um, you can um, absolutely get a copy of that. So again, I'm sorry. If you need that doctor, facility, dental, short-term medical, first health network, again, click on the find doctor and facilities tab, which again is found in the existing customers. Now, let's say your insured needs to view their policy documents or they kind of sort of forgot when their monthly anniversary was. Well, not a problem because when you complete your application with the insured, they are going to receive an email. When they receive said email, they're going to have to e-sign the um, contract. So it's the member portal is where it's going to take them to. They're going to input a password. I like to use this as a touch base with my insured. Again, I tell them to bookmark this information or they can just go to mynatgen.com. This is where they're going to find policy documents if they need that temporary ID card, because remember a permanent one is coming in the mail, but let's say they're utilizing services right away, accidents happen. Well, not a problem. Again, they can go to the member portal, uh, mynatgen.com, sign in. If they need to change that payment information or the method of payment, or they want to look at their policy documents, or again, if they're confused about the whole, when is my monthly anniversary? Again, mynatgen.com, they can do that. So a really quick recap here, guys. So the NatGen Access is a set dollar payment to the insured to help with those healthcare costs. There is no lifetime limit. Six benefit levels, including that guaranteed issue. Pick any doctor or any hospital. But again, we're going to encourage them to go to the First Health Network to utilize those discounts of 30 to 50%. Easy to use and easy to understand. No waiting period on the sickness or injury benefit. But remember, 90-day waiting period for that preventative <clears throat> benefits. Hospital Expense Protection Plus, again, guys, launching on the 25th of this month, September 25th, it is going to pay a set cash benefit that pays on top of all the other coverages. It is six benefit levels, no waiting period, no deductible, no co-pays, again, no network restrictions, pick any doctor, any hospital, and guys, remember, Life Association member ship benefit is uh, built in or it can, depending on state, it is required or it can be acquired. So why National General? Well, guys, we have roots that go all the way back to 1939. We've been giving an A plus rating, which is the superior rating by AM Best. We specialize in both short term medical as well as those supplemental plans. Now, guys, remember, please make sure that you're insured understands and you must be clear with them that the NatGen Access and the HEP are limited medical plans and they're going to pay a set dollar amount when the member receives particular services. Please make sure that your, ins your insured understands that they are responsible for any remaining costs not covered by the plan. These are not Affordable Care Act plans. They do not replace them. Again, it is a limited medical. So again, make sure your insured understands that these are not meeting the Affordable Care Act plans, you know, those 10 essential health benefits. Make sure your insured understands that. Now, of course, if you have questions at any time, you know, AEP and OEP are fast, fast upon us, guys. So if you have problems, questions, 
hey, you know what, I need to verify if this is available or I have such and such with this issues and this and this and this, please let us know in the training box. Please let us know in the training box here for the NatGen AH training at NGIC.com and let us focus on doing the digging and finding out the information for you so you can focus on what you do and that's sales, guys. So I'm, again, going to thank you for your time and hope you have a great remainder of your day. We'll see you next time.